Good morning, everybody, and welcome to a new vlog. This vlog, guys, I've been waiting for this one for the longest time, uh, longest you can imagine. Today, we are flying to Tokyo, as you can probably see from the title. I'm gonna try and see what I'm gonna show you guys from Tokyo. I'm so excited. I've never been. Filippo's never been. He's somewhere there. Filippo, do you want to say hi to our friends? Okay, that's it. He will say probably hi. The mic's all on me. On the planes, it's very loud, so I'm not sure I'm gonna talk much while we're flying, though it's gonna be like a 10-hour long flight. We flew to Dubai last night at around 11 p.m. and it's 7 a.m. now in Dubai basically 5 a.m. in Milan having this layover it was a very very tight one we're going to be the first people to arrive because that's kind of how we wanted it to adjust a little bit and then we're gonna be the last people to leave because I really wanted to have as much time in Tokyo as possible and we are going on this trip with one of my absolute favorite brands in the world and the brands that I'm so lucky I work with as well I'm not sure I'm gonna say at the beginning of the vlog what it is for we'll probably know by now however i will kind of especially reveal it during the vlog so yeah 10 hour long flight i'm ready to do some work ready to do some sleeping because i haven't really slept much on the dubai flight i'm gonna watch some movies now emirates has also harry potter which makes me so happy and that's basically that let's get on to this adventure Filippo is interrupting the program with showing me that Djokovic won last night while we were flying Guys, we made it to Tokyo and I'm so happy to be here. This has been so long coming and we're finally here. Ah, I have to say the journey was like basically 24 hours long because we left last night at 7 p.m. and now it's like past midnight in Tokyo. But obviously there's also time difference. But the subjective feeling is more than 24 hour travel. The good thing is on that second flight, which I've shown you at the beginning of this vlog, I actually slept. I, I slept like four hours, more or less, which is kind of good. I'm very rested. The only annoying thing is like, I don't know how I'm gonna go to bed now. It's 12.24 a.m. So half an hour past midnight. I literally do not think I'm ready to sleep. I have so much on my mind and so much work that I could do. But let me show you our room a little bit. As always, that does not come included with the room. Philip was checking out his schedule. We're staying at the addition. The view from the window is really, really, really beautiful. But you'll see it tomorrow. Um, wow, the bags are already here. I only just realized that. Impressive. I love actually the addition hotels. So, so far I stayed at the addition in New York, in London, in Dubai, and this is Tokyo, I'm sure, another city as well, but I can't remember right now. And the room is quite like sort of simple, chic, clean, and then there'll be the view tomorrow. As we arrived, got this moment of Zen garden. You know, the like medieval times, what Buddhist monks used to kind of, what do you call it, like thread with the swirling patterns to kind of calm yourself a little bit. Well, we'll see if it's gonna be useful, but right now I'm gonna shower and we're gonna continue tomorrow. Okay, guys, breakfast done. We didn't really have a Japanese kind of breakfast. What did you have, Filippo? No, we didn't have anything Japanese yet, but we are going to experience some Japanese. For breakfast, sure, since we woke up, Filippo's just showing me Japanese street food. That looks really delicious. And we're now going to Shibuya Scramble Crossing. We're in a taxi and um, have no idea what next. I have like one thing that I need to go and buy. But other than that, we are basically kind of broke today in Tokyo right yep. not many plans we're but we just want to get lost yeah today in translation the is to get lost <laughs> yeah so we'll take you with us Guys, currently in Shibuya, as you probably could have understood, and we are kind of finding all sorts of different things in shops. I don't even know what these things are. This looks like some kind of lash serum, which is obviously what I like. One thing that Filippo says he noticed that he didn't know before is that there's music blasting everywhere here. 
There's so much stuff, you guys. What is this? Filippo, what is this? It's so you sleep with your mouth closed. <laughs> I mean, there's so much stuff everywhere, honestly. I think we should buy some chopsticks to have at home, you know? We don't have any chopsticks, like permanent, right? Cute. Also, kimono and traditional sandals. So cute. so cute, right? And some kimonos here, Filippo. You wanted a kimono? Very cute. Wow, I love this. I used to have a kimono when I was a kid. If I can find a picture, I'll insert, but for sure I'll be able to find a picture of my sister. I used to have a kimono, Filippo, when I was a baby. My dad brought me one. Wow, there's so much also kind of Japanese makeup and stuff like that. Let's explore. Let's see. Let's see what we can find in here. A lot of different stuff. Look at these contour sticks. They look very interesting. I always love to try different things in different countries. Filippo, come! Look! Huh? It's authentic Italian pizza. Yeah, same, same. What about the pescatore? Yeah. Look, pizza genovese! <laughs> I don't think we came to Japan to eat pizza though, guys. We are searching for something authentic. I don't know how I'm gonna vlog here, considering that the music is blasting everywhere, but I'm gonna try my best. Also, because Filippo is quite like old school, he finds hard the concept of ordering the food outside of the restaurant, like at a sort of something that resembles an ATM, but then <laughs> drink inside to eat. So it looks like we're gonna end up being hungry. This one? This one doesn't have an ATM outside where you have to order. I know everywhere it's like this little machine where you have to order. Also, I already saw some vintage shopping here. You can see, I don't know if you can tell, but there's a Birkin 25 and a Kelly 25. And I've checked the prices. The Birkin is around 3 million yen and the Kelly is 2 million yen. Pretty good, I think. We made it to the place called Manja or Munya, I'm not sure. Basically, there's a drill on the table which you have to be very careful not to put our hands on. But as you can see, this is how it works. You're kind of gonna get food and you're supposed to bake it yourself. I don't know if you can see over there in that <laughs> section. Everything is in Japanese. We have no idea what we're gonna be eating, but that is the beauty of culture immersion. Filippo was ready to leave because it's so hot. It's like 30 degrees outside, but then inside it's even hotter because of this. And it's gonna get even hotter when it starts baking. Guys, we finished it. It was delicious. We had the kind of like most popular one because we literally had no idea what they were. As you can see, everything is in Japanese, but um, it was like a, with a fish, I would say. And actually what this is, is quite traditional. M-O-N-J-A. It's actually monjaki. It is kind of like a little snacks on the grill that originated as snacks for the children, but it's very, very, very popular and we Loved it. This is it guys from the outside. Filippo is just taking care of the bill. So far, wow, I look cooked like the dish that we just ate because it was like 65 degrees inside. Also humidity, expect the worst of the worst for my hair in the next few days. But it's okay. So guys, a few things I wanted to share with you. So far, Japanese people have been so kind. I had this paper around my neck and I almost left with it. And this cute little school girl stopped me to tell me that I still got the bib on. I thought that was so cute. People are so sweet, so kind. We're at the Shibuya uh, crossing again. I feel so exhausted right now, but I really want to keep exploring because I'm loving it. Guys, we stopped by a pet shop and I literally Maybe look at these two, look at these two, they're fighting. Look, 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 look at this one. I would, if I would adopt the dog, it would be a black dog. And I love this one. So cute. Guys, this cat though, it's so funny. Look at it. Hi. Hi. We're actually going to a cat cafe now. Hi, you pretty, pretty face. One other thing on my to definitely do list while in Japan is to try a proper matcha cake. So I'm filming on my phone. We have to take off our shoes and all of that good stuff, leave our stuff. And now we're in a cat cafe that I'm gonna show you because this is honestly a unique experience. I also wanna go to little um, guinea pig hedgehog 
cafe and yeah Philip said I shouldn't call him every time I see a cat but honestly it's really hard because this one's really funny excuse me no, baby. <laughs> Hello. this one is very funny this one has a funny cute face guys look at this tooth Filippo found his entertainment try this one Filippo because guys look how many cats there are there's so many they're so fluffy hey hi I'm so sorry that this is turning into a cat vlog but this is so adorable I can't look at this beauty hi this one is so beautiful wow hey hey do you touch cats while they are asleep or not I never had a cat in my life but this one maybe this one is gorgeous so beautiful hi so we get some Japanese candy Filippo this one hi true I think we buy this in America as well, no? Yeah, we love it. Okay. Good morning guys we are at breakfast and i am actually i actually haven't taken you here yesterday morning i believe so i wanted to show you something special we're having breakfast here in front of the tokyo tower in fact the view is quite spectacular from this hotel I, I suppose in tokyo hotels are in general like this you get a lot of beautiful views but to be eating right in front of tokyo tower i think that's pretty pretty spectacular last night i went to bed pretty early like 11 because i wanted to be not jet lagged today and then today we'll be blaming filippo for the whole day because his phone rang at 4 a.m woke me up and then i couldn't sleep until 6 so i feel very groggy i feel quite tired like my eyes are kind of dry and i'm tired but it's okay because we have a bit of a schedule i actually have quite a lot of activities today meaning that at around 10.50 we have to leave the hotel for my first shoot it's 9 now so i'm gonna have my breakfast eat go and do my makeup etc so that we can start the day so we are actually shooting for vogue while we're here as well which is pretty insane and yesterday ladies from vogue were texting me asking me like oh, are you okay with the heat and i i was saying sure i can even shoot in a fur coat as long as it's something i like and i really love my outfit it's it's my own outfit i picked my own looks for what i'm gonna wear for the shoot so yeah i'm gonna show it to you guys in a bit okay guys i got ready for the shoot not fully because it's really hot outside i have my denim top which is here you will see it because i'm sure that filippo will actually vlog my outfit a little bit as i'm shooting right phil yep so i'm wearing alaya jeans i will link them below alaya shoes this is a the only top and my new hermes bag i think it goes really well with the denim like denim on denim on denim and i'm really digging denim on denim maybe because i haven't worn denim for a while now because obviously it was summer but as we come into fall for sure i'll be into denim i also know that not all of you love this style of denim the kind of like baggy on the legs but i love it because it's fitted on the top and quite baggy on the bottom what do you think filippo anyway so now ladies and gentlemen we are leaving you to go and shoot i mean we're not leaving you we're bringing you with us because you're our friends so let's go <laughs> Guys, we just had lunch in this very beautiful place. I haven't actually vlogged that much because we're in a big company, but it's a very traditional Japanese place and it's really incredible for this. Okay guys, we had lunch and we're currently in Harajuku area, which is so cute. Lots of different little shops vintage stores i'm gonna show you what we end up doing i don't know how i'll try i'll try my best to show you as much as possible because it's something like that my eyes have never seen before this is not how i imagined tokyo so shopping so far has been unfruitful have not yeah i haven't bought anything what did you buy i've got the fire isemiyaki yes i love this isemiyaki please um, but I actually got this in London. So, what did I get in Japan? I got some vintage yesterday. I'm uh, quite surprised that Stad guy doesn't wear Laura Piana today. So Stad guy is at the crib. This is Colton. <laughs> okay, okay, Saz. I didn't see the accessories. Didn't 
see the watch? I, I saw the watch. Are, I saw the, are you not wearing the watch? To be honest, no, I'm not wearing the black today. Is it a wrist game? Is it good? It's pretty, huh? It really is useful because I can see that it's 10 a.m. in Europe because I have no idea. I lost all perception of time when I'm in Japan. I mean, he's like in his own world, huh? The Birkin on the shoulder. No. I need to chrome hearts up that Birkin. Check the detail. Yeah. Check the detail. With his thumb. Honestly? The real uh, influencer. Guys, look at this. We are actually at Matcha Tokyo. The Matcha Tokyo. How's the pancake, Filippo? Mm. Yes. Okay. We have Xenia drinking something that looks a bit suspicious. We have Stad guy drinking. They're remaking. They're remaking it. We have Filippo with the pancake. What did you have, your Is, your is no. that yours? Also, oh, Senia is not having a drink. Wow, well, mine is just. The, I see. Uh, Layers. Yeah. Delicious. Mine is yeah. matcha old latte because it especially matches my bag. So, you know, it was obligatory. Guys, not gonna lie, at this time of the day, it's not easy. It's 7 p.m. We are about to head down to a cocktail with AP. We were like browsing all day long. Matcha, vintage shopping, Harajuku. Chrome hearts. What else did we do, Filippo? We did a super traditional Japanese lunch that was insane. And I'm so confused though. I'm not hungry throughout the whole day because the thing is, like, while you're awake in Asia or like this far in Asia, I had the same in Shanghai and in Seoul, you would be normally asleep. So I'm not hungry because naturally I'd be sleeping. Now it's 7 p.m. I mean, I've beaten today. I'm still not hungry. I feel like, ugh. but. Uh, also, I want to go to sleep and now is like the worst time to go and sleep. So now we are heading downstairs to a cocktail, which I'm very much looking forward to because we're going to see everybody. I got dressed. I'm wearing my wardrobe vest and the maxi skirt. I need to decide which watch I'm going to wear. I have a few different options. And yeah, that's about it. Going to get reunited with my friends and enjoy the evening. So let's go. Good morning, guys. It's a new day in Tokyo and I am in the... Very front seat with the team in the back. Hi! Hi! Filippo is like thinking of me an inception moment. We actually destroyed my feet in the way I'm so sorry, Phil. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure your content is more important. How's it going, it's Colton? All good. We're very excited. Keep that guy here, checking the fit. Okay. We're going to Team Labs and we are going to do some, I'm sure you guys have seen it all over Instagram. It's like a digital experience in Tokyo museum that like when you come to Tokyo it's a must 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 so we're going to take it off my list of my bucket list because it definitely has been on there I'm sure some people here have been there before but a lot of us haven't because it's our first time in Tokyo so we're gonna go and check it out together with you guys so you're coming with us I didn't dress the smarter guys for the experience. Are you sure this is the way? Yeah. God, it's very wet. here right now to experience this I never even realized how lights and mirrors can bring so much joy but it's gorgeous guys this is the next room it's like a lot of bubbles Filippo is leading the path that I'm not sure is allowed Senia is working <laughs> the artwork, okay? I wish you guys could see this in real life because it's really magical but I don't think that like on camera you can even experience it as much as you can in real life. It's gorgeous. It's incredible. Overall 
guys, this Team Lab experience, 10 out of 10, strongly recommend it. I really think you guys should come and visit because it's truly a special. I forgot to tell you that there are lockers at the beginning so you can leave all of your belongings like shoes and bags and I left literally everything. Even my camera just came in with an iPhone. And that's what I recommend you guys to do as well if you go to Team Lab and if you come into Japan, I definitely recommend you guys to go to Team Lab. Guys, quick update. We got back from Team Lab Museum, which I think you guys could have seen my excitement. It was the best thing that I've, one of the best things I've seen this year. It was really, really, really incredible. I'm gonna quickly show you my updated outfit. We are in Tokyo for Adma Pige, in case you didn't understand that yet. I'm sure you have from the title, but we're here for like a very, very, very special collaboration launch. And today is the lunch for the launch of Matthew Williams collaboration. My outfit, wardrobe, New York City pants, this Prada sparkly top, my Constance black and palladium box leather, love it so much. I've got my Royal Oak offshore watch. Normally, I would wear these pants with this belt, but because of the sparkly top, I think it's a little bit too much, but I love this belt as well. So if you want to get it, I will link it in the description box below. Spritz of fragrance, and we have to go. I don't think I'm going to bring the camera around just because it's clunky and I don't end up using it when I'm in big crowds, but I'm going to try and still show you as much as possible. Guys, this is, I think, like under the spot. Do you think under the spot are the watches? I'm so tempted. No, it's very tempting. I can't wait to see what's in here. Guys, they just um, revealed the watches, so everybody is going crazy, trying them on, taking pictures. Love them. Filippo is trying to inquire a price over there, as you can see. And obviously, it's going to be very limited amount of these watches. I mean, Royal Oaks are uh, limited anyway. It's like they, when, even when it's not a collab, but collabs, as you guys know, even more. Guys, I just tried it on. This is my favorite. It's yellow gold, which is quite rare for AP. Look at this brushed, gorgeous bracelet. And there's nothing on the dial, so... Yeah. Guys, we're going upstairs. I already put two beds on the side, which is quite unusual for me. Let me show you. Okay, so you guys know that I'm not really going to buy Hermes that is from resellers because especially after what I've been through, I kind of want, you know, it feels weird for me to buy like Kelly's and Birkins here. Also, I don't have a reason to do that. So I am up for Chanel because there's so much vintage Chanel. To be honest, I also love this makeup bag. It's an actual makeup bag. Gorgeous. Let's see how much. I need to understand how much that is. Let's see. Let's just have a look, you know? It won't harm anybody. I mean, the only annoying thing with these glass that it reflects quite a bit, but... Oh, this is beautiful. It's a canvas. Filippo, this is beautiful, love right? It. Canvas, love it. It's quite special. It's like a canvas and leather. Let's see. Guys, why do I always fall in love with the best, most expensive stuff? I love this so much. It's 8,800. <laughs> Xenia told me she has the same in Navy. She will sell it to me in 7K. Love it. Always the best offer, you know? So what do you guys offer me? Because she's offering me 7K. It's like so beautiful. Action. Yeah, exactly. But going down. There's so many of these. So much choice, guys, and so many cute bags. Let me show you some. What? A friend to all is a friend to none. I, I said that yesterday to someone, actually. It's so, so perfect. So much stuff. Guys, we got home, I mean to the room, 20 minutes ago. I had 20 minutes to have a shower and to like sit on bed for five minutes and change and we are going to a very special dinner tonight. Why is it very special? Because tonight, Audemars Piguet will be announcing live, we already have been knowing about this for a little bit, about new watch collaboration with Alex. That's also what you could have seen at lunch today. So the whole world will find out tonight and finally I can post about it. I had to keep quiet, but I'm actually very, very, very excited to tell the world because it's a very big deal. The watches are gorgeous. I am actually considering to place an order on one of the watches, just debating with Filippo a little bit. So we've quickly changed. I'm wearing the Saint Laurent white dress, the one that I wore in Maldives. I'm sure you all know, Alaya shoes. I changed my watches. 
and I'm wearing a silver Tiffany L Separati cuff with my steel watch from AP right now. So that's it, ready to go. And I have to go, not even Mantra helped me. I'm so jet lagged, you guys, but I just have to, have to, have to stay awake. Guys, okay. So what's the situation? We're on our way to the event and the party and I feel like, yes, I've vlogged just a little bit in the room, but I feel like I haven't actually properly sat down to speak to you since we've arrived in Tokyo. We don't sleep the best in terms of like, people woke up last night every hour because obviously we're supposed to sleep while it's still definitely daylight in Europe. So it's tricky, but yeah. I woke up the night before, I slept very badly. Last night, I kind of slept, but again, I was waking up twice, I think I woke up. So throughout the day, like you get like the highs and lows, which I'm not very used to because I'm in generally very consistent with my mood and with my energy levels. But like here, it's quite funny because we feel like, we feel okay in the morning, then around 11, I'm already tired. And then I feel like I dip around 4.30ish, and now it's like six, but, um, I could go to bed now, which would be the worst idea possible, you know? So just need to push through. I'm like so envious of people who have energy to stay and party. Imagine Phil, mm -hmm. would you want to go party tonight? No, of course not. No, I was just saying how much you love to. Mm. Sure. <laughs> what do you, so far, what's your favorite from Tokyo? Do you want to say to our friends? Well, so far, the most beautiful things is the experience we did this morning. The team lab? The team lab. Yeah. Which was really, really amazing. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, and then the one you meet so far is like yeah. the best. Oh my god, I'm loving it. And then I love the the cleanness of Tokyo, yeah. super clean. The one like little downside for me is that there's no beans anywhere. So if you're carrying a cup of coffee and you finished it, literally you have to walk with it for like two, three hundred meters until you find a bin. No? Yeah. There's never is, any beans. Yeah. And uh, you know, despite that, <laughs> the, the city is super clean. Yeah. How is you that possible? I, mean? I don't know. But. Um, I mean, guys, if you want to come in Japan in August, just keep in mind that it's very hot yeah. and very humid. I think that's what also makes us a little bit tired on top of it. Yeah, else. so I wouldn't suggest this month to come to Tokyo, even if we've been quite lucky because it's we, it's bearable, but it's really, really, really at the limit. It's yeah. hot. Otherwise, everything is fine. Food is great. People, of course, they're super friendly and everything is uh, working properly and is super super safe like you can leave your wallet on the table and go back two hours the later I feel and the, the wallet will be still there on the table yeah. guarantee for me i just like really enjoy the kindness of people it's really so beautiful and uh, you know just walking around roaming around the streets i can't say like it's a place that i could easily live in it's quite, I mean, Tokyo is very international, it's so beautiful, there's so much culture, but so much also to see, and so you can like easily also find your way, I think, like, you know, to, to fit in, because you can always find people similar to you, international people, etc. But I just think that it's quite far from home, but I would love to come here more often. No, I think that this is one of those places, like Seoul, you know, one of those places that when you get into the locals, the local market, the local people, I think there is nothing cooler than, yeah. uh, than here. You know, the right restaurants, the right community. I mean, of course, they're super cool. The restaurants are beautiful, charming, food is really good. But of course, you have to, you know, you have to like the, the culture and, and stuff. So, yeah, that's a little bit about our so far to They experience. don't really speak English. So Sometimes bad. I do look like yeah. now, now our driver yeah, speaks English. Yeah, our driver does. Sometimes, you know, it depends. It's much easy. better than in, I think, than in Seoul and in China. Easy to find taxi. Very easy. Uh, you can pay with your card. Yeah. Always. They're very nice, very, very polite. Yeah. So good. We can see the whole room. I have to say they have a lot of stuff here tonight. It's gorgeous. The setup See, is insane. Are you ready for dinner? I am. Are you hungry? Very. I know you're excited for some Japanese food. Yeah, we are. We are. Hopefully there is some wagyu meat. Yes? Yes.
Good morning, guys! Not still our last day in Tokyo, believe it or not. I know, this trip is getting better and better and better. It's not actually even morning, it's midday. We're going for lunch. I'm gonna bring you with us because we're going to like a beautiful sushi place. But better than that, I am going to be showing you a lot of Tokyo today. Well, I think so. The truth is, I'm not gonna be exploring as much as I would have loved to today because I have like a very important British Vogue shoot. I know, I know, you heard it. Well, like a British Vogue, what? What was what, what? Anyway, I'll bring you to that as well, behind the scenes. Very important. But first things first, let's go and eat. Guys, look at this view. It's so insane. I'm literally obsessed. This is the Tokyo Tower. As a joke, I sent it to some of my friends and I said, um, Paris is always a good idea. You know, just a little bit of joke. But now that we're here, I could actually maybe place a camera on one of these chairs and show you what I'm wearing right now. Let's see if it's gonna work. Okay. Guys, outfit of the day. So I actually, you know, when I got this uh, Kelly pochette, I wasn't really 100,000% sure that I'm gonna wear it as much as I would have wanted to. This Kelly pochette in that face, because the color is like a little bit green, but not green, and it's not white, but it's a little bit white. However, uh, I've been wearing it pretty much every single day. Can I just say that now I want a Kelly pochette in every single color? Note to self and to my essays in case they're watching. Anyway, I'm wearing today a wardrobe New York City set. This is the maxi skirt. As you can see, I was quickly steaming it just before going and best in case i can still find this available i will link it below but i'm not sure got the mint colored shipe for sandals i don't know if that's in frame is it in frame hopefully now yes and yeah i'm ready to go also got my chanel sunglasses honestly 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 this bag guys it fits so much so much more than a mini kelly and i love it now we need to go for lunch guys we got back from lunch. I know there was not much vlogging. It was very quick because the Vogue shooting got pushed a little bit forward. So basically, I'm on my way to go shoot for uh, Vogue right now. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to show you much because this is going live, I believe, end of September-ish. So yeah, this video will go way before the actual Vogue video goes live. But you found out here first. <music> Guys, your favorite people are here? I hope so, at least. Do you think Filippo were somebody's favorite people besides our parents? We are anybody's favorite people? Yeah, do you think? That's a actually very smart question. Where did you read it? I didn't. I was just saying, hello, your favorite people are back. No. And then I was thinking, do you think we're actually think anybody's that favorite? I am definitely your favorite person. Yes. Well, and I, mean, I think I'm definitely my mother's favorite person. Besides our parents. Our parents don't count. I know no, I'm definitely my sister's favorite I person. I don't think I'm... I think I'm nobody's favorite person. You think you're nobody's favorite person? No, only you. Which is, to be honest, everything I need. Let's go! Anyway, you guys, I just finished the Vogue shoot. It was incredible, you guys. Like, think 72 questions. Think, like, cool vibes. I can't reveal anything anymore, but it's going to be in September. It's going to be live in September, and it's really, really, really cool. Got so inspired. I don't think I've ever done anything for Vogue before like that with my face, you know? <laughs> I don't even know where we are. We've been walking for like 40 minutes. We had the beautiful dinner. It was fantastic. And now we're kind of walking in this like super cool area in Japan, in Tokyo. And I'm gonna show it to you. When in Japan, you have to go to karaoke bar, right? We are definitely going here. We came to the karaoke bar. It, this is what you have to do when you're in Tokyo. I'm thinking of doing a little TikTok showing you all of the different things you must do in Tokyo. And this is definitely one of them. We're having such a good time. Morning guys, small break in program. 
Well, it's not a break on program, it's just a new day, even if I'm wearing the same outfit that you've seen me wear yesterday. I'll explain why in a second. With some little minor changes, I actually realized that I haven't actually, 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 actually taken any pictures of this look yesterday when we went for lunch because we had to run for the Vogue shoot, right? So I decided to put it back on again. It's the wardrobe a maxi skirt set. Added this Chanel necklace that you guys can see. Isn't it beautiful? And also I will wear like a pink Chanel bag. So you will see some differences, but in general not. We're gonna go walk around a little bit, explore. I have no idea. We'll see. We'll probably go to Shibuya again because we haven't been since the first day and then we'll see. Today's actually the day that we're leaving. We're leaving tonight. So I have no idea what we're gonna have from content altogether, but I'll try my best to show you a little bit more of Tokyo and yeah, to tell you a few different things. Okay hey guys, little update. We randomly came to Shibuya Sky. It's closed because of lighting on top, but actually it still will be able to see something inside. So we're like, let's come. Guys, I just realized one thing and that is that I've never in my life seen a bigger city never this is insane I don't know if you guys can see the weather is pretty bad and because of that weather over there we're not able to go outside for me to show you but I'm very happy with this view in fact because we actually get to see how huge Tokyo is no wonder it's the most populated city in the world if Google is correct the terrace that you can come out to if the rooftop was open but unfortunately it's closed i think the light here is probably way 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 better for taking pictures but it's just very weather depending so it is what it is Guys, this crossing, we've crossed it now, I don't know how many times, I'll insert some clips. But it's really, really insane how it all, it goes from every side, it's so smartly done. But it's so many people. Look, look, look. Phil, let's go. Wow, well, guys, honestly, every little crossing, every square, every corner, everything is so beautiful. I was not talking about this, but also, if the shoot is, you know? We have a saying in Serbian when you praise your own, but, you know, for me, I have to state what I think. Okay guys, current situation is we're trying to get a taxi. Usually it's quite easy to get a taxi on the street, but today's the weekend. The difference between working day and the weekends on the street is enormous. But we're going now to what I really wanted to go to, which is a hedgehog cafe. Yeah, I feel like I really cannot leave Japan without seeing that. Okay, a little pharmacy haul coming. I'm not sure because I literally don't know what anything is, but all the packaging looks so cool. What is that, Filippo? Cooling eye mask. Did you get it? Of course. Love it. For headache, I'm sure. You think? Or for babies. <laughs> I don't think it's for babies. It is for babies. I think it's... No, I don't think so. Yeah, 100%. No, I, don't, I think it's for 100%. headaches. Filippo thinks it's for babies. Ah, maybe it is for babies because look, this one is not for babies. Filippo is asking if we had this cartoon in Serbia. I don't think so. What was the cat called? I don't remember. I don't remember it either. But what was the cat doing? Let me know in the comments below if you had that cartoon in your country. Oh, there's so much stuff here and everything looks different. You know, like when you're in Europe, everything looks the same. Wow, the masks look also different. Oh, 
I'm so tempted to buy everything, but I genuinely do not need any more face masks. Wow, look at this. It's for your, is it for neck mask? So you don't get wrinkly neck? Kind of impressive. Here. I love these. What is this? It's for your smiling lines. She just said that I don't need anything. Let's go. <laughs> Hi guys, I don't know what to say. I don't know. Wow, look at this for stains. Do you want it? Professional week. This is the supplement corner, and you guys know I like to mix my own, but I'm not sure I'll be able to read all the ingredients over here. But it does look very impressive, especially this nano placenta jelly. Ah. I am obsessed. One thing I can say is that this is very good. It's a glucosamine and this one is 1,500 milligram. That must be really good. Wow, this looks very impressive. The only thing I don't like, it's you need to be taking 10 tablets a day. Excuse me. I mean, this doesn't sound like a good formulation to me. They have so many skin care supplements as well, but then most of them are actually this kind of along the lines of not getting tanned and yeah it's a different concept but anyway i think it's like very very special i also bought some of these glasses cleaning little papers because my glasses are always a little bit dirty i don't even need to know where filippo is i just hear someone saying arigato gozaimasu and i know it's him all okay, right now it's the time to go to yeah. head home okay we just need to get a taxi yeah. is so good. Hi. Oh look, baby, he likes you. He likes you. Look. Wow, baby, he likes you. Guys, look at the little foot. It's so funny, the foot. Hi. We were craving some baguio meat, so we're gonna have a burger. You ready? Oh my god, this looks so good. I'm in a burger coma, guys. Uh, we have these like little taxi vouchers that we're using. Arigato! Arigato gozaimasu! Arigato gozaimasu! So nice, we love it. People are so kind here. We're just reading about Japanese culture, and Filippo was telling me the Japanese people. They never lose it. They never lose their temper. Like, Just yeah. like me, baby. Same, same. <laughs> right? Same, same. Isn't it incredible that I'm almost like a Japanese? Baby? Where we going? No. That burger was 10 out of 10. Best burger that I've had in the 34 years of my life, you guys. So if you come to Tokyo, it's Henry's Burger. Huge. No, no, it's like best best burger in the right? world. No, no, but honestly, better than. I think so. Better than US. You know, I like think we so. love, of course, in LA. Yeah. Love, baby. We love in LA. Come on, what's your favorite when we went to Coachella? Oh my God, uh, in and out. Exactly. But it's different level. This is why you baby so. Yeah. Yeah, but it's not just the meat, which is of course yeah, amazing. Yeah, the sauce, but the, the bun, the cheese, the everything, bread, everything. And I of am. Of course, and of course, the kindness. <laughs> Yeah, love it. The, the restaurant had two seats basically. Four seats. No, yeah, four seats. You're right. It's normal in Tokyo. Yeah. Anyway, now we're gonna pack. I'm gonna change my outfit. We're not gonna pack. No? no okay. We'll pack later. Now change we'll outfits change. and then we're gonna explore a little bit more until we have to head to the airport. Guys, we are in Dubai. It feels like it went like this. But last night at midnight, we took a plane to Dubai. We have a layover currently. And yeah, the Tokyo adventure came to an end, but I have so many beautiful memories. I have lots of beautiful content that I need to go through still. I had an incredible time. It was probably the most inspiring country, Japan, that I have visited this year. Loved it so much. And I'm gonna try and tell you a little bit more about it in the next vlog. I'm gonna go deeper into the vintage shop into what I bought and all of that good stuff so just wanted to say if you want to see more make sure to subscribe thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one hope you enjoyed this see you soon bye guys